The motion was quite uh, a lengthy one, very explicit. Uh, we brought out a lot of data on the devastation that was caused in uh, the 2022 flooding across the country. Uh, we even tried to draw a nexus between what happened in 2012 uh, and what is happening this year. Um, it is pertinent to note that uh, we actually had early warning signals from NIMET. Uh, there was adequate warning preparing us to expect heavy rainfalls. Uh, unfortunately, we were still cut out by the unfortunate incident, and uh, it led to a lot of uh, tragedy, particularly cost us lives and uh, properties, and of course, degradation of economic activities. Um, basically, this motion tried to x-ray the extant uh, immediate and remote causes of, uh, of this uh, uh, environmental uh, you know disaster we think that climate change is real for those who don't believe that climate change is real it's here and we also have reason to believe that we need to prepare uh, for 2023 um, we don't want to be caught napping again uh, the cost will be too terrible and devastating and we do have dwindling resources and we think to be forewarned is to be forearmed it's better to prepare and prevent a tragedy than to sit tight and then walk ourselves into something that may cost Nigeria too much to walk back from. So, 2022, the Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, warned of impending floods across most states in Nigeria, especially flood-prone states, aware that in 2012, 32 out of 36 states were affected by flooding. Hello. 363 people killed. Over 2 million no, no, silence, people, please, silence, please. people displaced. About 7 million people affected and a total loss of 2.6 trillion. Silence, please, silence. We are aware that in 2023, 33 of 36 states and the FCT are affected. That is, that is 92% of the entire country. Over 600 people killed, over 1.4 million people displaced, and over 2.5 million people in need of humanitarian aid, with over 60% of these being children. So we, we are proposing that uh, there should be a disbursement of 5 billion naira per state, including the FCT, for intervention, immediate. We are also proposing that the uh, ecological fund, uh, that a uh, hundred billion in addition should be made uh, available to actually mitigate some of these uh, unfortunate occurrence of flood. And finally, uh, because we're in the budget season, we are calling that uh, the House Committee on Appropriation should provide 200 billion uh, in the 2023 appropriation to for uh, deployment for um, well to respond and. Uh <laughs>